To make a herbarium, first select a suitable plant. Make sure that all its parts are present and the plant is clean and dry. For example, you can see here this is a small plant of castor, Ricinus communis. All its parts are intact from root to the shoot. This is grass, the common grass. Here also you can see all its parts are intact. The fibrous roots and the bunch of leaves at the top. Next, take sheets of old newspaper or magazine which have rough absorbing sheets because it is on these sheets you will transfer the plants, you will arrange the plants and then cover them and leave them for few days so that their moisture is lost and they become well pressed and dried. This is how you must arrange your plant. Each leaf should be separated out before it is pressed. like this okay the root should be spread out nicely okay and then it should be covered with another sheet of paper like this okay like this you can cover it and keep it properly now put some heavy books on the sheets make sure that every part of your plant is inside because if any part is outside the sheets of the paper that part will turn yellow it will shrink and it will turn yellow in color and then you will not be able to paste it on the herbarium sheet and now leave this setup for at least one week before you disturb it after 15 days we will take out the drawing sheets and open them very carefully. Now, I kept these sheets for 15 days because this is the rainy season and so it takes a little bit extra time for drying the plants. Let us see how the plants have dried. We will very carefully open the sheets. Here you can see this is a neem plant okay and this has dried out very well you can see okay from the roots to the shoot okay every part is dry the leaves have not lost much of their color okay so I'm going to keep this plant separately so that it does not get disturbed now in the same way we will open and take out other plants also here you can see this is the grass all its parts are properly dried now okay we can see this also this is the first plant that we dried and that I showed you okay this is the castor plant Ricinus communis you can see how well the leaves have dried okay we will keep this plant also carefully okay after drying and pressing these specimens now it is time to transfer them onto proper herbarium sheets for preparing the herbarium sheets, we need thick drawing sheets like this, roughly the size of A4 size paper. Ready-made labels are also available. Otherwise, you can write down these labels, the descriptions in your own handwriting also like this. Or Alternatively, prepared herbarium sheets are also 
available in the market so it's up to you you can choose whatever is comfortable for you you can choose accordingly besides these two things we need scale we need pencil a good quality pen cello tape we need gum and fine scissors these are some of the requirements for preparing the herbarium sheet to begin with the first thing that we need to do is use a scale and draw margins on all the four sides after drawing the margins on all the four sides next paste the label suitably on one end of the paper you can also draw this but if you have labels with you you can use the labels also so after this this is how our herbarium sheet will look now our sheet is ready for transferring the specimen now transfer the specimen onto the sheet like this make sure that all its parts are within the four margins none of the parts should be outside the margins okay and if any part is folded you can just very carefully open up those parts because now the leaves have become quite soft and you can also very carefully you can change their position okay so arrange each and every part carefully and fix the position in which you want to paste this plant so this is how after keeping the specimen on the specimen sheet on the herbarium sheet this is how your sheet will look after arranging the specimen on the herbarium sheet we need to fix this specimen onto the sheet this can be done by using either fevicol or preferably by using this cello tape so small pieces of this cello tape can be cut out and the each of these portions can be fixed we can put a small piece here on the root on two or three places on the stem each of the leaves must be fixed using the cello tape here i have cut out a very small portion you can see of the cello tape and this i am going to fix here so care should be taken that a very small portion is taken out a very small portion of the tape is cut so that it does not unnecessarily hang on to the sheet okay and neatly paste it like this so very small bits and piece bits of cello tape i have taken and attached you can see one here one here in the same way i am going to fix this leaf also and all the other leaves also okay and probably i will just put two small pieces here to fix these two roots also these two lateral roots also okay now you can see that i have applied cello tape to different parts of this plant and now this plant is fixed properly onto the sheet so even if i pick up the sheet the plant is not going to get disturbed like this you can see i'm holding the sheet upright but still every part is fixed properly so this is how you need to fix the plant now the next part is labeling this herbarium sheet after we have pasted the specimen properly we need to fill out all the details so here you can see herbarium specimen number 1 date of collection it was collected on 2nd july so 2nd july 20 name of the plant i have written the scientific name here if you do not know the scientific name for the time being you can write down the local name that is the vernacular name also do find out the family 
it belongs to Lycurisinus communis, it belongs to family U4BAC. So I have mentioned here U4BAC, then habitat, terrestrial, locality. This was collected from Asansol, so West Bengal, Asansol, altitude 111 meters from the sea level. And this is a medicinal plant, so that I have written. Plus, if you have more space, you can write down a little bit more about that. And collected and determined by Mrs. Rajni Sena. That means the name of the collector. So, this is how your herbarium sheet will look. So, you can prepare all the sheets like this and file them properly in a folder. So, this is how we make a herbarium.